A very good morning to you. Ooh. Rob Rinder. No, Rob Rinder. Rinder. I bet you've had that your whole life. Rinder. Marina. Murbury. The presenter said, I think, you know, you, it's disrespectful, it's wrong, you've got to get her name. It's upset when people email and say, hi, Louise. <laughs> You'll have school ratings and you, when you're trying to see which school sent your child to, you might go, and so on. This is an invaluable... It should have been some... And it, it does actually, I suppose, beg the question, what does it exist for asleep? In this, essentially, a honeymoon period, you know, Labour does have a period of time. We'll talk about in a moment, of course, as it is in the papers too, talking about, look, you know, there's probably going to be some tax rises in the autumn. It's, it's almost impossible to think there won't be. But how long have they got to <laughs> blame the Tories uh, yeah. for, well, for the well, mess they're well, in? Osborne did a good job of it. And <laughs> ..that they may give them something more than um, the Conservatives mm. were going to give. But at the same time, as we say, you've got Rachel Reeves on the front of the Telegraph who says she's... well. She's in public finances, and the general story is it's worse than we thought. It was part of this uh, ITV documentary uh, about the tabloids on, on trial, and, of course, he's been spearheading uh, and still is in, 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 a, in a battle with some of the newspapers over the sort of information-gathering process. It was phone hacking. Uh, now, why he doesn't want to bring Meghan mm. even for a visit to this country? Just oh, saying. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like reindeer, Rob Reindeer. Oh, what you like? Cute. I don't mind. I'd be delighted. Good morning to you. Yes, sir. Good morning to Marvareen. You pull people up on it. How yep. are you talking about it this morning? We're going to be debating. Well, it's because of Kamala Harris, of course. Right. Um, Kamala Davy Harris, which is her full name. But um, there was a radio show on Five Live, and they were interviewing um, a, a Democrat, and uh, who had worked with on Hillary Clinton's campaign and so on. And uh, Kamala Harris yeah. said it in a different way. And he said, I'm going to pull you up on that right now. And right, and it's Kamala. Kamala. Mm. So it was just interesting, we thought, about yeah. whether you uh, think, as in getting your name right, is that a sign of disrespect? Or do you think, just, you know, as long as nobody means it in a bad way, let's just the leave them to it? People don't mean it in a bad way. Well, There's it's lots interesting. There's of trouble in the world, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think for most people, it's the least of their worries. Yes, I think you're probably right. Let's but for see. some people, they say yeah. it is part of their identity and you've sure. got to get it right. So we're going to be discussing that later. Let us know uh, how your names have been mispronounced, if at all. I know my other host called Louis. He gets called Lewis all the time, which is a common one, isn't it? Louis and Lewis. Does he get upset about it? Um, no, he... <laughs> that, one he that one he sort of pushes back 